Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're in episode number 26 of Let's Play Proper Portugal. We're converting stuff again, because we're awesome. And uh, Revolt Risk is down pretty much everywhere. A little bit over here. These are going to take a while to core. That'll get rid of overextension. Kind of working on this legitimacy thing. It's going to come up slowly, slowly, slowly over time. Because of our prestige and controlled cardinals. It'd be nice if we had more. Um... I guess we'll throw more points at that guy. Whatever. I was thinking about attacking Spain, but Spain's got Aragon and a personal union. Their armies combined is pretty strong. France I probably have in my corner. Join coalition against them. No. Uh, we're going to continue to improve relations with them. They like us. Um, England is not willing to reconsider my, um, my royal marriage. They're upset with me. Rejected alliance. Heretic religion. They wouldn't even accept an alliance at this point. They hate us. Oh, and we're at war. That's right. I keep forgetting about this war over here. King Afonso was only six years old when he became king of Portugal. For the first eight years of his reign, the country was ruled well by the Duke of Coimbra in his place. However, after, Duke Afo or after Don Afonso had ascended the throne, as was customary at the age of 14, intriguing noblemen at the court managed to cast doubts in the young king's mind about the intentions of the duke. The duke was sent away from the king, but later decided to return to his side and help him rule the country. The duke, uh, the duke, not wanting to leave anything to chance, in fear of his conspiring enemies at the court, made the bad decision to approach the king, accompanied by a force of several dozen soldiers for his own protection. The conspirators, however, managed to convince the king that his beloved, old, old beloved friend was now trying to start a rebellion against him. The king thus sent out an army to engage the enemy before he arrived, there was no real battle, but the Duke of Cumber was killed, nevertheless. I want to... I want him to survive. I, we're already at two stability. I'm not going to pay for a third point. Increased revolt risk is not good, but extra taxation is awesome for... For 30... 20 years. Yeah, we'll, we'll have him survive. A little tiny bit of revolt risk is no problem. Although we actually are at 1% now. Pretty much everywhere. Mostly because my legitimacy is down. And overextension. Alright, so administrative power or prestige. We'll take the administrative power. I think it's important that we stop getting overextension for a bit while we have this Regency Council. And unfortunately, I haven't taken a national, a national idea in forever. Mostly because of all of the... Uh... I think it's probably worth it to do this. It's just a little bit of military power. We're so far ahead on military tech that it just feels like a waste to... God, I really hate having revolt risk on the islands, though. Jeez. That's annoying. And revolt risk here as well. Let's get that down. Less combat's good. Same thing here, even though we've got troops there. No. We have no missionaries to send. Oh wow, these are really high. We have an active... Oh, we have two active missionaries here with no troops to defend. Can we get there? We can. Just walk over there then, please. I almost, I'm almost positive we're going to see a revolt from one of these two. My king, Muscovy, has entered a military alliance with our enemy, Denmark. One, two, three of them have converted cultures. I think my sound effects are missing again. For whatever reason, Bohemia, after declaring war on Pomerania, or sorry, Poland, is just not attacking him. So, this is slowly ticking up to 10%. And then uh, we'll just have to have him peace out. England, come on, quit being a, a jerk. Here, I'll send somebody to improve relations with you. And then we can royal marriage and get my legitimacy up. How's that sound? Um, okay, so we have a rebellion. Oops. I'm a little bit concerned with my sound effects being off again, that I'm going to get rebellions that I might not notice. We are way over our army force limit again. 
France has decided to come down here into the Grain Coast. They have no troops, and it's very aggressive, so hopefully it just gets killed. It's actually halfway halfway built already, but... Okay, so we're at 10% war score here. Let's see if we can get him to peace out. Yeah, we, we can. In fact, we can even get him to give us 40 money. <laughs> 40 ducats. That is funny. Funny, funny, funny. Uh... Sounds good. <laughs> Weird. I am the keeper of the peace. No one shall fight. <laughs> We're losing 67 gold per month. Wow. Mostly because of army maintenance is brutal. Over force limit, 5.4. Reinforcement is uh, paying to reinforce right now. 67 a month. That's, that's actually higher than I would even really like. But... Then again, we could attack the creek, because they probably have some some funding again. Yeah, 500 gold. We could take that from them. Hmm. How are we going to get Brittany or Scotland? Maybe Scotland will do a royal marriage. Negative 19. If I if I did an alliance with them, we've got room for it. I could probably ally myself with Scotland and then get a royal marriage with them. They're allied with France. I'm allied with France. Let's do let's go with them instead. Alliance with Scotland. They've accepted, and now I want you to do a royal marriage. Come on. Okay, stop replace stop doing relations with them and let's do relations with Scotland instead. I'm pretty sure that when I do the new royal marriage, since they will have higher legitimacy than me, that my legitimacy will go up. That is the plan at least. And they're only at negative seven, so it shouldn't take too long. Lots of coring is almost done. We've got our five colonies coming along. There's a hostile siege. That, see, I missed it. It didn't. I didn't see that pop up. Interestingly, they didn't pop up over here. They popped up over here. Just gonna fight little peasants all the way over there. Um, some feud is over. The leader may not negotiate for us. <laughs> Lithuania, I'm just ignoring. I feel so bad. If I concede defeat, will you let me go? No. Muscovy is going to beat Lithuania. I'm too too busy to help them. Uh, we should convert culture. Yes. down here. Are these proper culture? They all are. Good. We should probably attack the Congo again eventually, too. Yeah, I really need that overextension to disappear. So that we can get our revolt risk down. I hate having 1% revolt risk everywhere. It's really, really bad. See? Damn it. There's another rebellion up there. And some here, too. These are all about to convert culture, which would be nice. Should get some more income out of it. Our actual income is, is looking good. It's up to 45 now. Most coming from trade. If I'd stop being so aggressive with my colonies, and if our cap went up, our force limit, then we would be able to save a lot of money there, too. Over force limit seems to be like a dynamic number. I wonder if your force limit is like it's not it's it's probably rounded. 
to a single regiment, but it's it's an actual full number, not just not not by the thousands. I think. All right, so there's that hustle siege, and that's the only rebellion we've got. Good, good. We have a diplomat free. Let's go talk to Scotland again. Hey, Scotland, you ready for a royal marriage yet? Soon, please. As far as technology goes, looks like we're almost to the point where we can get this. Trade efficiency goes up. Alright, one, two, three more that are our culture. Nice. I care a lot more about the coring, though. 87 and 87. It'd be kind of cool if it sorted this automatically by the percentage. So you could see which ones are getting closer, kind of quicker. Still, we're at 90% on two of them. And S Seneca is uh, a low-income province. This one as well. There's only one, but it'll still help out towards the uh, towards the overextension. Seneca is uh, contributing four percent, and Cayuga is four percent. So we'll go down by eight percent, which will lower revolt risk. Oh, yay! A colony's complete. Good. Um, shall we take on a fourth, or should we? I mean. I kind of want to keep some treasury for when we actually have the ability to build stuff, so let's not go with a fifth colony again. Let's uh, instead go with... Is it worth sending him out to this one? Uh, we've already got a guy there. We'll just send him here. Go work, my man. You can do it. I think I should give up this this mission because I don't think it's going to happen. I would need 15 more ships, which is just it's just not going to happen. So we'll give up that mission. The more I colonize, the number is going to get bigger too. So it's a moving goal. It's just it's really it'd be really hard to actually achieve. Cotton. Okay, come on, Scotland. It's time. It's time for a, a royal marriage. It's time, it's time, it's time. Come on. Don't give me this negative three garbage. With our focus on trade, uh, we'll sacrifice diplomatic power for mercantilism. Definitely. Hey, Scotland. Royal marriage. Negative three. It's coming up. It's getting close. Hey, there's those two cores, good. Which means that we should be able to convert their culture now. And I think we will. Only well, takes 12 months. Which means I'm thinking revolt risk is coming down. Base revolt risk is kinda high. Plus we're down to th just two stability instead of three. Overextension doesn't contribute nearly as much to revolt risk as, like, legitimacy does. Scotland! <laughs> I need you! I need you in my bedroom! Come on! Let's do it! Let's seal the deal. Just like in Game of Thrones, let's, uh... Hey, look, a rebellion. Let's go ahead and do the betting ceremony. Come on. These revolt risks are really high. Come on, Scotland! Let's do it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Watch, I'll do it, and it won't actually affect my stability. Or my, my legitimacy. Meanwhile, this war is still at 0%, so whatever. I don't really seem to be going in any direction. Come on, come on, let's do it. Let's do it! Let's do it. Do it? Okay, I hate you. I'm going away. Why is the revolt risk so high here? Nationalism. 
Let another coring happen. We were at 60%, now we're down to what? Protestant Reformation is spreading like wildfire. Several different movements have already formed. Awesome. That means we're going to start to get events that change us over. Alright, good. So there's another one. That one will go quick. That means we can do culture conversion. We were... Oh, we've got a spare missionary. That's what happened. Must have been one of these provinces. Yeah, sweet. So we can convert this one's culture. And we might as well, even though this one's going to revolt most likely. We'll get started on that. And that's those are the final two. Until the Protestant conversions start happening. Come on! Royal marriage. Sweet. Okay, so we're at 30. They'll barely accept. Let's see what happens. Nope. No change. Oh, sweet. It actually went down. Awesome. Whatever. It's just because we've we've got the weak air. It's, it's not... I mean, whatever. Oh, well. Controlled cardinals, number of royal marriages. We might even end up with more controlled cardinals soon. Alright. Austria is now the papal controller. Boo. For now. Until your 80 year old dies. And my guy comes into charge. So that's unfortunate though. That means we're going to lose conversion. We're going to lose one of our, our guys. Don't we? Interesting. So even though we don't have him... Oh no, it was being the defender of the faith that gave me the extra guy. Being the Curia controller doesn't give me a, an extra advisor. Although it does, we do lose some other stuff. I should have excommunicated Spain. That's what I should have done. Any legitimacy? Bad. Bad, bad, bad. I could go down to this. We don't really need the go the... We don't need that anymore. We don't need diplomatic reputation. Let's go down to the level one guy. Keep the missionary strength guy. I almost... I think I'm almost always gonna try to take the guy who's got, uh... Morale of armies. I just love that one so much. Okay, so revolt risk is kinda coming down up here. Let's do some more harsh treatment. And uh, I think I can actually consider going down and uh, attacking the creek. Of course, that's just going to give me even more overextension, unless we unless we do it just for the money, 650 gold. But you know me. Every time I attack him, I'm going to want to take a piece. Who's got more money, the Aztec or the creek? Creek do. Mali has money. Mali. God damn it, Spain. Did you stop it? I hate you so much. Do we still have a claim on Mali? No. Hmm. Where are my diplomats? You're working on France. You can stop that. You're working on... Yeah, we don't need them. And the Hausa. Do you have any money, Hausa? It's just H, Hausa. Nothing. Okay, so... We do have a claim on Bambook. What do we... What, what the hell? Er, what do I do? What do I do? Should I attack Spain or not? No, no, no. We're going to focus on the creek. We're going to go attack creek. We're just going to have to let France colonize down there for a while. It's going to be annoying, but eventually we'll take over their stuff. I mean, the amount of power that we're getting is, is really, really growing. 
We're boosting all of the wealth that comes from here to here by 20%, so I should probably continue to colonize the Caribbean. And then, um... And actually, it'd make a lot of sense to steer all the wealth that we can from here. That way, to stack the bonus even further. Right now, we are collecting from trade here, but... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. We should, um... Spain is transporting it forward, so we're getting less of a share here. Let's let's change this up. We're going to recall him. It's all going to get sent forward. We're going to send our merchant here, have him transfer trade power to the Caribbean. Uh, wow, well, we got to wait for him to get home. And then I'm going to put a bunch of ships here. So all the money from Brazil is going to go to the Ivory Coast, and then we're going to try to force it over here, and then it'll go up to here where we can collect it. And some of it's going to come to Sevilla. We'll collect that too, but... Getting chain bonuses is really good. I saw a post on the EU forums where somebody was making like 8,000 gold a month off trade because of the way that they had it all chained together. Alright, good. So we are coring stuff. Let's convert. And convert. Our overextension is down to just 28% now. We still can't core Naz Nazca. Maybe I should sell that back, actually, because that one costs a lot. It's, it's 12%. No, it's only 8%. Sorry. How much money do the Inca have? Not much. I mean, it didn't really do what I expected it would, and we, we make nothing off of it, so I think I'm going to do that. I want you guys to... I don't have any boats to get you home. I put a conquistador in charge, maybe I can trek across the land up to uh, there. Let's do that real quick. Oh no, we don't have military access. That's why we're that's why we're stuck. They'll give us military access though, but we are already at our limit for relations. So, hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. If I sell it to him... Oh, we can't do it while we're at war. Come on, I want out of this war. Hey. White peace. Concede, we concede defeat. I mean, they're so close. We have zero reasons. What do you want? Well, maybe war exhaustion will end up doing it. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.